Daniel Sell, Construction and Mechanism. This is today's lesson. In this lesson, we are going to learn construction and mechanism of Daniel Sell. So, let's get started. Daniel Sell is an example of electrochemical cell. electrochemical cell which is also known as galvanic cell this is voltaic cell as well so daniel cell is an example of electrochemical cell by british chemist John Frederick Daniel in the year eighteen thirty six. So Daniel Sell, after British chemist John Frederick Daniel in the year eighteen thirty six. Now let us see how Daniel cell produces electric current. Production of electricity by Daniel cell. Here, a vessel is taken, glass vessel or ceramic vessel. In the middle of the vessel, a porous membrane is placed which can be filter paper porous membrane now this is left compartment this is right compartment in the left compartment electrolytic solution of zinc sulfate is taken And in the right compartment, copper sulfate solution is taken. Here, level of the two solutions, height of the two solutions should be same. Zinc sulfate solution remains as ions. Zinc sulfate in its solution remains as ions. Similarly, copper sulfate in its solution remains as ions in this way. Now, in the solution of zinc sulfate, metallic strip of zinc is immersed metallic strip of zinc is immersed in the solution of zinc sulfate and metallic strip of copper is submerged in the solution of copper sulfate that is zinc metal in the solution of zinc sulfate and copper metal in the solution of copper sulfate. Now, these two metallic rods or metallic strips are connected with wire. Here, we can place galvanometer or an electric bulb to show the presence of electricity produced from the cell. So here we can set galvanometer or electric bulb. If concentration of the solutions one molar then EMF that is capacity of the cell is 
1.1 volt when concentrations of these two solutions one molar now the circuit is completed after the completion of the circuit this cell produces electricity and this pointer moves here to show the production of electricity now let us see mechanism of the cell how it produces electricity mechanism of daniel cell here metallic zinc has been immersed in the solution of zinc sulfate here one reaction occurs spontaneously this reaction zinc from the zinc bar goes to the solution as zinc 2 plus ion leaving two electrons then zinc 2 plus ion that is zinc atoms from the zinc bar go to the solution as zinc 2 plus ions leaving electrons here zinc atoms go to the solution as zinc 2 plus ions leaving electrons in the bar in this way zinc atom leaving electrons goes to the solution as zinc 2 plus ion because of these electrons actually with the passage of the time this metallic strip gets full of electrons for this reason it is denoted by negative charge i repeat why this is negative in charge because this metallic strip gets full of electrons with the passage of the time for this reason it is indicated by negative charge and this reaction release of electrons we know release of electrons is oxidation again we know the metallic bar or oxidation occurs that is called anode so in electrochemical cell anode is negative in charge why anode because here oxidation reaction occurs why negative in charge because this metallic bar gets full of electrons with the passage of the time for this reason this is negative in charge but here due to electron electron repulsion electrons flow through this wire at one stage electrons pass this galvanometer or bulb here at that time it will indicate the presence of flow of electrons the movement of the pointer indicates flow of electrons and flow of electrons is electric current that is here why electrons are moving through this wire due to the electron electron repulsion here and electrons are moving towards this metallic strip so it is denoted by positive charge because electrons are moving towards this metallic strip as electrons are moving to this metallic strip it is denoted by positive charge so electrons are coming here electrons electrons 
when electrons reach this metallic bar here positive ions present that go to this metallic strip and it receives electrons from this metallic bar in this way copper 2 plus ion from the solution goes to this metallic strip because this is now containing electrons receiving two electrons turns into solid copper that is this metallic bar is decaying with the passage of the time and this metallic bar is getting fat because here atomic copper is deposited on the surface of this metallic bar so here reception of electrons which is called reduction and we know the metallic strip oil reduction occurs that is called cathode so this is cathode which is positive in charge this is anode which is negative in charge it differs from the electrolytic cell in electrolytic cell anode is positive in charge and cathode is negative in charge in electrolytic cell but in electrochemical cell anode is negative in charge cathode is positive in charge and we saw here flow of electrons which is electric current this is flow of electrons and this is flow of current so we can write here this is anodic reaction or reaction at anode and this is cathodic reaction or reaction at cathode let us write total cell reaction here zinc plus copper 2 plus iron this will cut this on the right side we will get zinc 2 plus iron solid copper this is total cell reaction through this reaction this cell produces electricity electric current here in this compartment oxidation reaction occurs so this compartment is called oxidation half cell and in this compartment reduction reaction occurs so this is called reduction half cell reduction half cell oxidation half cell after that in this solution concentration of zinc ion increases with the passage of the time because here zinc 2 plus ions are produced with the passage of the time so here concentration of positive charge increases in the right compartment in the reduction half cell copper 2 plus ions are deposited on the surface of the cathode so here the ratio of negative ion sulfate ion increases that is 
this compartment becomes negative in charge and this compartment becomes positive in charge which is electrical imbalance to maintain the electrical neutrality zinc 2 plus ions move through the pores because this is porous membrane at the same time to maintain electrical neutrality sulfate ion moves through the pore in this way because now this is positive in charge due to the higher concentration of zinc 2 plus ion and this is negative in charge due to the higher concentration of sulfate ion so zinc 2 plus ion moves through this pore and sulfate ion moves through this pore at the junction of two solutions gets created a kind of potential which is called liquid junction potential the potential which develops at the junction of two solutions is known as liquid junction potential due to the liquid junction potential this cell loses its power to produce electricity filter paper or porous membrane that doesn't allow these two solutions to mix with each other but it allows to transfer the positive ions and negative ions between these two solutions to maintain electrical neutrality this is the characteristic of this porous membrane that is due to the creation of the liquid junction potential it cannot produce current spontaneously for avoiding this potential liquid junction potential here salt breeze is used in case of electrochemical cell salt breeze is used instead of porous membrane this oxidation reaction is called oxidation half reaction and this reduction reaction is called reduction half reaction this reaction occurs in this compartment in the oxidation half cell and this reaction occurs in this compartment in the reduction half cell this is oxidation half cell this is reduction half cell and which is completely electrochemical cell which is a daniel cell an example of electrochemical cell this daniel cell is represented in this way metallic zinc is submerged in the solution of zinc sulfate zinc is submerged in the solution of zinc sulfate vertical line single line indicates this porous membrane vertical line then a reduction half cell is represented in this way solution of copper sulfate oblique electrode copper cathode so anode in its ion cathode in its ion this is the way to represent electrochemical cell here zinc is getting zinc 2 plus ion that is solid zinc zinc 2 plus ion releasing two electrons here 
proper two plus ion is getting solid copper accepting two electrons that is why in this way this cell is represented metallic zinc in its ion metallic copper in its ion representation of electrochemical cell thank you for watching